Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another reading, which is going to be for the sign of Gemini. Topic of the reading is messages from your person. It can be an ex, it can be the current person, whoever it is that you're dealing with. Let's see what do they wish to say to you right now. I uh, will be adding messages from your person's, uh, you know, uh, energy as well in this read. So stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonates and leave the rest. For personal leads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well. So let's see, what is it that they wish to say to you? What are their messages for you? Ten of Wands, they are putting an end to something. Um, maybe, you know, your person was like, you know, in a situation with another person. Maybe they were in a third party situation. Um, maybe they had responsibilities. Maybe they had some restrictions in their life. I really want you to know that I am getting done with that now. I am uh, leaving the baggage behind. I'm breaking free from it. So they really want you to know that somehow for some of you, maybe your person, um, maybe they, they were already married to someone else and uh, they are coming and uh, approaching you now because they are free from that situation. Uh, it can be family pressure. Maybe they were like not independent back in times when you guys were together. Um, um, maybe, you know, this, this is something that they really want you to know. Like, you know, for some of you, maybe your ex would be returning back to you because I feel like, you know, somebody's really telling you, like, you know, they are done with the baggage that they were carrying around, um, mental blocks, emotional blocks, physical blocks, religious, uh, blocks, whatever it was, um, maybe third party situation. They really want you to know that, look, I'm getting done with it now. So just, uh, um, just know that I will be coming back to you. Um, uh, even if you are, you know, in touch with this person, even if you are with this person right now, this person really wants you to know that um, they, you know, if they could not give into the connection the way you expected, this person really wants you to know that they are going to give into that connection with you the way you desire. So just be patient with them. Let's see more cards here. Seven of Fonts. This person is really wishing to tell you, like, I'm getting prepared to uh, break free from something. So just be patient with me. Uh, let's see more cards here. Ten of Pentacles. Um, I feel like, you know, this, this person really wants you to know one more thing here. That, um, you know, no matter what has happened, uh, they are strongly believing that you and them could be back together. I feel like, you know, for some of you, your person might be approaching you from the past. Like, you know, somebody from the past might be approaching you because now they feel that they are ready. Now they feel like, you know, they, they can invest into connection with you. They are ready to leave the baggage behind that they were carrying around um, because they love you a lot and they really want to pursue this connection with you. So for majority of you, I do see that the issues that you were having in your love life with this specific someone will be resolved and i feel like you know the divine timing is definitely working out very strongly here in your connection like you know the things that you were expecting didn't happen before the things that you cannot expect right now are happening so it's, it's more like maybe the ending that you might have had with this person was something that you could not expect back in times and now the reunion that i see here would be coming in is going to be very unexpected too let's see more cards here yes I feel like, you know, there there is, um, you know, um, quick energy coming in. Like, you know, something that was delayed, blocked, stuck in, in a situation for long. I do see that that thing uh, is going to start moving forward. So I feel like, you know, your, your justice is definitely coming through for a majority of you in regards to your love life. There was a person, there is a person who loves you a lot. But the circumstances were like, you know, blocking this connection. Uh, your person could be in a third party situation. They could be independent. Uh, they could not, uh, they could be dependent on others. Now they are getting independent. Now they are like, you know, in that position where they can pursue their life the way they desire. So I feel like, you know, somebody's getting free from some sort of uh, restrictions in their life and they are coming towards you. On either deck, we do have the emperor. I feel like, you know, somebody is now ready and prepared where they can take actions in, in, in love life right now. So I feel 
feel like you know, for majority of you, your love life with your specific someone is going to get stronger and deeper because uh, they want you to know one thing that they love you and they know that you still love them too. So I feel like you know, for a majority of you, the person who you are dealing with or who is going to be returning back to you um, has dealt with a lot in their personal life. It's um, uh, they they might have gone through a lot and in, uh, in the t in in this whole time, like you know, they could have dealt with a lot of issues, personal, family, work life, religion uh, wise. I feel like you know, this person has matured more uh than their age actually like you know so their, their life could have been like you know very um unsettling for them in the in the time that you were not talking to each other or stuff like that or even if you were in touch your person was going through hell is what i'm picking up um let's see some messages from your person let's see what do they wish to say to you what do they wish to say to you what do they wish to say to you what do they wish to say to you? I hide behind material things. So this person really wants you to know that, look, I I was, uh, um, I always hide behind material things. I, uh, I always tend to hide my true emotions um, because, uh, because I have other things, other responsibilities, other, you know, goals to achieve, um, you know, and that, that's how they have always been. Like, you know, they might have like never shared their true heart their true desires with you in the past and they really want you to know that someone is a cheater be careful now for some of you maybe a person um um you know maybe um they they really want you to know that somebody that they were dealing with was a cheater because i really don't see you as a cheater here that's the reason why they're coming back to you so they are going to be telling you like you know people are not how they seem to be be careful in love I feel like, you know, they have learned a lot of lessons, like I told you earlier. So they really want to be back with you because now they can sense that the loyalty that you brought into this connection with them has been like, you know, something, um, you know, uh, very rare in, in, in these times. And I feel like, you know, this person really wants you to be careful and they know that uh, uh, they are not going to be like cheating on you. You are not going to be cheating on them. So they really want you to be careful if you are... You know, um, if you're still considering that shall you give them a chance or not, I feel like, you know, this person is going to tell you this, that, um, you know, somebody is a cheater out there. So just know that I'm not going to do that to you. So just uh, maybe you can give me try, uh, you know, you can try me again and give me a chance. I ain't like shady people. So yeah, this person is going to be telling you like, no, I'm not like other people. Now, even if they are not like, you know, even if they haven't dealt with any cheating uh, situation, um, maybe they have learned a lot with their personal life experiences that the people around them have been like, you know, cheating around and really, you know, after they get done with whatever that was keeping them away, busy, really want you to know that, look, I will be like, you know, how you want your person to be. I know that I can provide you that sense of security in a relationship. Relationship. Um, so I feel like, you know, they are going to kind of, you know, um, make your mind to accept them and to give them a chance, like, you know, whenever they are returning back to you. Um, maybe they are still in touch with you. Maybe they are still talking to you. Just that maybe there is some sort of pause happening in the connection where you guys are not talking too much. Um, they have some burdens to deal with. But I feel like, yes, this person really wants to, um, you know, convince you to... To give them another chance is what I'm picking up. So um, yeah, I feel like you know um, this this person is uh, claiming that uh, they are not like other people. So just just trust them for who they are and uh, give into the connection with them. Now let's see what the divine has to add to the read. Let's see what is the oracle message for you in regards to the situation that you are having with your person. Let's see what the divine has to add. We do have our card. Divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Now, this an important lesson could be unfolding for you. It could be unfolding for other people, uh, for the person that you're dealing with as well. So just listen uh, to your heart around it. Whatever your heart says, follows that. follow that when it comes to the situation, this person. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, till I do the next read for you guys. Take care and bye.